In this lesson, you'll learn to solve word problems with multiple operations. And the word problem can include all four operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And the way that you're going to handle these problems is by applying the proper order of operations. So when you have multiple operations in a single expression, you need to follow a certain order. And let me show you what that order is. So the order that you want to solve in is first, you solve anything that's in parentheses. Next, you simplify any exponents that you have or evaluate any exponents. Third, you perform multiplication. Fourth, you divide. Fifth, you add. And sixth, you subtract. And this is known as PEMDAS. And if you need to remember it, you can think of the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, because the first letter of each of those words corresponds with PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So this is a good way to remember the order of operations. Now there's one more thing to mention. Let's just say that in the same expression you have multiplication and division. Now these don't have any priority over each other. So at this point what you would do is solve from left to right. So if the multiplication is to the left, do the multiplication first. If the division is to the left, do the division first. And the same thing happens when you get down to addition and subtraction. However, you want to do multiplication and division before any addition subtraction operations. Now let's solve a problem together to understand the order of operations. Sam has 15 cupcakes. He gives away five to a friend and then bakes two more. He makes four gift packs of the cupcakes he has now. How many cupcakes are in each pack? So let's break this problem down. We want to first know how many cupcakes Sam ends up with to make gift packs with. So he starts with 15. He gives away five. Then he bakes two more. So let's look at this. And this will tell us how many cupcakes he has for his gift packs. So if he starts with 15, I'm going to write the number 15. He gives away five, and we're going to represent that with subtraction. So he gives out five. And then he bakes two more, which means he adds two to the number that he had. So this is one part of the problem. Now let's come to the second part. If he wants to make four gift packs, how many cupcakes can go in each pack if he divides them up evenly? So at that point, what you're going to do is take this entire expression, or the number of cupcakes he has at this point, and divide it equally, so divide it into four gift packs. Now simplify. The top you have 15 minus 5, which is 10, plus 2. And we're doing this first, right, because parentheses comes first, and that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the parentheses. So you have 10 plus 2 now over 4. I still have parentheses, so I'm going to deal with that further. You have 10 plus 12, uh, sorry, 10 plus 2, which equals 12. Now you get 12 on top, and now you have that over 4. 12 over 4 means 12 divided by 4. You could think about it that way. So 12 over 4 simplifies to 3, because 12 divided by 4 equals 3. This means that Sam can put three cupcakes in each of his gift packs if he wants to make four gift packs. Thanks for watching.